I wanted to figure out which dinosaur was the most commonly found out of all of the dinosaur skeletons that we've uncovered. Because we've found over a thousand dinosaur species, some of which are only known from a single bone, but for others we've found multiple skeletons. And out of all of those, my goal was to try and figure out which dinosaur skeleton turns up the most frequently in the fossil record. And you might be surprised by what I found. Just for reference, I want to show you some of the more famous dinosaurs and how many skeletons we found for each of those. T-Rex, possibly the most famous dinosaur of all time, has only had around 30 to 40 skeletons found. Stegosaurus has roughly 80 specimens found, so a little more than T-Rex. And Spinosaurus has a whopping total of six skeletons uncovered, but one of them was destroyed by a bomb during World War II, so now we only have five of them. Okay, so you can see that even with the famous dinosaurs, we don't usually find a lot of skeletons for any one species. Part of that is because of how rare it is for dinosaur fossils to form in general. In order for a fossil to preserve, the conditions need to be just right to permineralize the bones. So finding any dinosaur fossil is extremely rare, let alone multiple skeletons of one species. However, some dinosaurs did have better luck in getting preserved than others, so I'd like to reveal the top three most common dinosaurs that we found. But first, when I was making this video, a thought crossed my mind that if we found more skeletons of a dinosaur species, wouldn't that species probably be more famous too? Like, wouldn't more people know about it if we found hundreds of more skeletons of one dinosaur than other types of dinosaurs? It turns out though that that's not the case. In fact, I want you to comment below if you've ever heard of any of the top three most commonly found dinosaurs. Starting with number three, Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus is a long-necked dinosaur from the late Jurassic period that lived in the western United States. Since its initial discovery in the late 1800s, there have now been over 500 specimens of Camarasaurus identified. That's a lot of skeletons, but it doesn't even come close to our second place finisher. Coming in at number two is Coelophysis. In 1881, a poorly preserved small meat-eating dinosaur from the Triassic period was uncovered in New Mexico, and it was given the scientific name Coelophysis. 66 years later, a man named George O. Whitaker found a dinosaur fossil bed at a quarry in New Mexico called the Ghost Ranch Quarry, which subsequently also later became home to the famous painter Georgia O'Keeffe. Buried in the ranch were nearly a thousand Coelophysis skeletons, which means that Coelophysis skeletons are roughly 30 times more common than T-Rex skeletons, and almost twice as common as Camarasaurus skeletons. But again, these little meat eaters are beat out significantly by our number one spot. And here it is. Number one, the most commonly found dinosaur in the world is Centrosaurus. Like Coelophysis, Centrosaurus was found in a large burial site with over 1,500 specimens. Unlike Coelophysis, Centrosaurus is a ceratopsian dinosaur, a small plant-eating cousin of Triceratops. With roughly 1.5 thousand skeletons found, Centrosaurus takes the cake as the most commonly found dinosaur skeleton. And again, Comment below if you've ever heard of this little guy, because up until I started making this video, I certainly hadn't. Before we end this video, I want to give a quick shout out to Triceratops, because in all of my research, I had a really hard time pinning down exactly how many skeletons of this guy has been found. Some resources said that roughly 50 skulls have been uncovered, one source said that 500 to 700 individuals have been found, and one source even said that roughly 2,000 individuals have been discovered. If the upper estimates are accurate on Triceratops, and if anyone can find any more reliable sources to support those numbers, let me know in the comments, because Triceratops might have to be moved up a little bit on my list. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about the most common dinosaurs. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to come on into the museum. Though, I've noticed that most of our viewers are from out of state, so it might be worth waiting to come in until you're on vacation in Utah. Or better yet, use the park as your excuse to come on vacation in Utah. Food for thought. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time.